Hey, hey what's, what's up, Keys and Queens? Queens? It's Theo. And it's safe. Man, say it's crazy for this Prince family documentary we about to talk about. Man, say like, oh my god, the Prince family, the Prince family. Oh, oh that's my how god, it is. Documentary is part one, it's part one. We been what, what's, what's this? Oh my god, the Prince, the Prince, the Prince, the Prince. I was like, calm down, baby, calm down. Yeah, y'all, I was so hyped. I was like, <laughs> snatch the your headband off. <laughs> but don't do that. <laughs> Not on camera. <laughs> hey, but anyways, man, the Prince family, like Say said in the last video before we've been redoing this because of my, my, my little craziness. Because he's a Virgo. Yeah, y'all don't know. Plain and simple. It's anyway, so. Virgo thing. Like Say said before. So. Prince family been doing it up this year. Yes, they like. I'm like, is this y'all's month? Yeah. Because they got the trap with the Prince family little challenge show with well, their reality show. I'm oh, sorry. we talking about that? Yes, we're gonna have two videos in regards to that. But um, they've had that, and then they they like, oh, you peasants, we're just gonna drop a documentary for you guys real quick. <laughs> that way, you know how we we came from the bottom and now we up at the top. Yeah. Wop wop wop. Because I think the documentary is called Up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I like know. the damn movie. Like, what? Have it's, you watched Up the movie before? Isn't it? And, and that's the it's superhero a movie. Superhero movie, no, right? No. That ain't the one with the superheroes all of. No, stop. The black Just family. Stop it. What? The, what? I thought it was the black family was superhero. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even matter right okay, now. Okay, documentary talk. Let's get it. So, Damien started off the let's whole doc. Let's go. Damien started off. <laughs> yeah, Damien. Let's get it. <laughs> David started off the whole documentary like, excuse me, chief. <laughs> like, like, bro, we don't even know what happened at the beginning. We're gonna start off with your grandmama flying through the through the uh, screen door in the front door, and your uh, your and his uh, stepdad is super kicked her. Yeah. Like sweet chin music in the chair. And she flew straight through the window, y'all. I I was like, damn. He said, <laughs> he said blood was everywhere. He said, he said. They had to call the popo. Huh? No, nah, he was like, he said, he, it was him and his brothers, the cousins, seeing it. And he was like, man, we gotta go. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Yeah, let's get it, man. Let's go. <laughs> I was like, I was like, like he full of shit. <laughs> He was full of shit for that. And you wanna know wait, you wanna know how he was full of shit for that? Did you not hear his voice go up? He was like, like, let's get it, man, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He really said, let's get it really. Like, y'all was, like, was not right, saying that back in the day. Come <laughs> on, David. Come on now. But we understand. So, I don't even know the story true. story might be true. We don't know. Yeah, Man, I'll like, party judge. Got him. Your stepdaddy, you start off the whole documentary we with your stepdaddy like having step your stepdaddy got your grandmama flying through the damn um screen door and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, God damn, what what's more for the happen? Like, what's next? Because that's so, quite an intro. So he said that uh, was this? So he said, you know, they jumped on the stepdaddy and everything like that. Mm -hmm. He got kicked out the house. I don't know if he went to the hospital or something. I don't know. Yeah, I was like, I was, I was tuned so out. I was like, <laughs> I was like, because I don't know if they been lying. They be still stuck on the grandma. <laughs> getting kicked out of the screen door so i was like oh my and they then, said it was a spinning wheel kick i'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling bullshit. you i'm telling you man. they shit. said grandma with glasses flew off and everything teeth was down on the ground i was like damn <laughs> i was like damn <laughs> you see me okay. looking at the screen i said damn <laughs> Sorry, Grandma, if that's true, we mean no harm. Oh. Yeah, but, okay, so next he talked about how he got, like, emancipated, right? Because he stayed with him and his brothers would stay with his aunt, and then... We're going to keep a, t a tiny bit of a uh, timeline. He said he was 17. Yes, yeah. This age. was before I um, Bianca. I would say Ibanka. This was before <laughs> Bianca. He was yeah. 17. He was 17, and then um, I think something happened to his mom, so he was like how he was going to get emancipated from mm -hmm. his mother. And then he decided to stay with his dad, and he said he would ask his dad for money. His dad would be like, you need to get a job, duh, 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 duh. Uh, That's like saying the right stuff. He was yeah, saying the right yeah, stuff, trying yeah, to prepare 17. him to be a man. Right, and he, but Damien felt like his dad did more for his stepkids than he did for Damien and his brothers, which probably was true, mm -hmm. honestly. And um, so then from that... What? He was dating some girl, right? And then he moved. Yeah, what? like he said he said he was dating this girl, I think, for five years. Um and they they just up and left and went to uh, Arizona. He said he had no money and that wait, was he this was before or after he was working at Little Caesars? 
I don't remember. Either way, we know he worked at Little Caesars. No, wait, 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 wait. I think he said he was working at Little Caesars. He liked to make this money. He 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 worked for like um. He worked and made two hundred dollars on his first paycheck. He was like, "Give me more hours." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was doing the signs, and he was like, how at first he was like embarrassed or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, but okay, so he moved with this girl to Arizona and was staying at her aunt house. Right? What, Theo? Should I tell this later or no? This on. I mean, this about Bianca though. Later. All right, all right. Let's go. Yo, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> later. later. Save that for later. So yeah. So he moved with the girl staying at auntie's house. Uh-huh. And he was like how the aunt and the mama will always ask her to go get groceries during the daytime and he would be playing 2K. Yeah, like what and the fuck? Like, kind of bum ass nigga yeah, you? I'm like, this shit don't even sound right because he basically, like he said, he didn't have a job. He just playing 2K and I think he was doing YouTube. Yeah. So I'm like, um, sir, this ain't gonna work for me. So you living <laughs> with your girlfriend's grandmama because it's aunt, her house. Aunt. Well, auntie, um... In Arizona, you moved all the way from Indiana to Arizona right. to live with her, and all you're gonna be doing is playing the game. Right, and she, then he, the whole time he didn't know she was fucking around. You know what I'm saying? She, cause she, he said that um, she was best with the guy that she had lost her virginity to, and he was like, you know, that don't mean nothing to me, like with it. You know, that means some of the girls who they lose their virginity to, and blah 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 blah. blah. Nigga, you wouldn't. If this true, you wouldn't. You wouldn't do it right. You just yeah. a bum ass nigga. And exactly. She do, I was like, ooh, child. Probably ain't bathed. This shit got all comfortable. So what? The funny shit to me was how he said that he came home and she was like, "You like this ain't working for me no more. You need to go back home." And he was like, <laughs> he thought she was playing or whatever. He like, girl, stop. I'm about to go to the store. I'll see you later. So he came. <laughs> <laughs> he came back and they wouldn't let him in. And he was sitting, said so he was sitting under the car. It was crazy, man. He was outside <laughs> with his aunt, with her auntie cigarettes and everything. He thought he, he, <laughs> yeah, thought he, he had the key in there. With auntie cigarettes, you know, just sitting. He like she ain't home yet. I'm waiting on her to get back. So he fell asleep. He like, oh, I'm tired. Whatever the fuck her name is, she ain't came back. God damn, I gotta take a little nap. All of a sudden, so you hear not, 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 not. You know, that flashlight shining in. Because the police like, sir, yeah. you're sleeping in your car. <laughs> we need you to leave. He's like, nah, you know, me and my girl, we got into an argument. And, you know, we, we just going to patch stuff up. Homeboy try to call her. Ring, ring, ring. Blockity block, For block, real, block. the whole bitch <laughs> blocked. That bitch blocked his that ass. blocked his ass. Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's Dang, fucked up. Like I, like, I keep saying, Damien just looked like a whole bum ass. He nigga. did. I, that's sleeping in front of the he was like a bum with two girls. Yes. And, and and we ain't even got 10 minutes into the story yet. <laughs> right, right. So anyways, even though all this bullshit was just long, I don't even give a fuck about all this shit. We just showing how much he was a bum at this point. So he <laughs> he he came back. Yeah, he and, had no choice but to leave. <laughs> Come back home. He then came. he started working at Little Caesars again, right? Yeah, I don't know how he got a job back. Oh. I just tell Guess who he stayed with next? Who? <laughs> brother, brother. He stayed with his, his brother. brother. yeah. And oh, yeah, I forgot all yeah, about this part. Remember okay. how he was like how, uh, you know, he was working. He had two cars. Yeah, he got, my boy got two cars. <laughs> he had the Dodge Challenger and, and a, a 300, Chrysler 300. Chrysler 300. I'm like, yeah, damn, how he you was like, you know, he making his money. He doing, he got his his game systems. He uh, gambling, making money, snacks, you know, snacks, snacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all in the casino and shit. Oh, he said online gambling. Online gambling. <laughs> and then he was like how he was playing his game. And turn off the lights. Hmm? Turn off the lights. Damn, nigga, I meant turn off the lights. Oh, my fault. Fail. <laughs> turn it back on. <laughs> turn it back on. <laughs> You suck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not going to turn off the lights. I know, you're like, what? Like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Look, <laughs> Look at the Jason. phone guy in dark. The phone's thing. like, what's going on? But okay, oh, this so. This must be that auto light. It's <laughs> trying to. It's to <laughs> this baby. I got you. Keep going, keep going. Just talk. Just anyway, talk. he turned off. The, the lights got turned off. He peeped outside. He like, everybody else shit lit up. Why my shit ain't lit up? Yeah. Call brother. Brother, like, I ain't paid electricity in like four months. Yeah, like, goddamn. He's like, the fuck? And like, what is he doing with his life? What is he doing with his money? <laughs> For the electricity bill, that's the real question. I would have been like, um, excuse me, sir. Where the fuck is my money at? Yeah. But... And that was when he said he had made his first little YouTube check. He said he got like 700 from it, right? Yeah. He was like how he had to pay. He used his YouTube check and pawned his new uh, camera, camera. Mm-hmm. to pay the electricity bill. And he was like how when he turned the lights on, his brother just never, never came back. Oh, 
I gotta switch it. No, he's fine. He was like how his brother just never came back, and I think the the rent was like seven fifty or something like that. So he was basically taking care of stuff of his own. So I was like, damn, that's pretty fucked up. Yeah, like I, I was like, is this if this is true? Like, like mm-hmm. I wonder, like, what was the relationship in that household and everything? Like, yeah, because it was weird. Because like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna go a little bit mm, farther spit this out. in into the um, video, obviously. But he was like, how you know? I think he was still working at um, Little Caesars and stuff like that. And something happened where his brother got chased by somebody from the club. Yeah, and they like had uh, hit they his try- car. Well, they they. Broke the window. Yeah, head. yeah. I'm about to skip all this shit because this shit is so boring. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. I want to go ahead and get to when he started back working at when he was working at Little Caesars and he got to meet Bianca. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> now I need. To die. Wait, 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 y'all, 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 chill, chill, chill. That's just me. I'm about to go crazy. I need. I needed that. Is it still filming? Yes, yeah. it's still from, I needed that. We needed to turn the thing you up. You needed uh, that break. There you go. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Y'all can't tell. The screen was too fucking dark for the time being. Okay, y'all. Sorry for the break. Yeah. So, we coming back in talking about Damien and Bianca's relationship when they met. Because Damien was like, you know, I was working at Little Caesars. I was the assistant manager. And everybody that got hired, they had to come through me. You know, he's like, your boy. That's what he was like. He's like, Harvey boy. Weinstein sounding <laughs> motherfucker. So he was, look, look, he he was like, you know, I saw this little light skin thing, this uh-huh. little red bone. Yeah. And, you know, I was like, come over here. Let me show you how to put the pepperonis on the pizza. Because that's what exactly what that nigga said. Come over here. Let me show you how to put the pepperonis on oh. the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> show me. <laughs> <laughs> that pepperoni right there, Bianca. Yeah, you, you, you gonna be like, Bianca. <laughs> just well, you know, right then, she wasn't Bianca. She was just. Bianca. She probably looking at that nigga like. <laughs> right. So he was he because he was like she, you know she was playing games. Da, da, da. He asked mm-hmm. her if she was gonna be at some little carnival or whatever. And she's like, yeah. a carnival. She's it's like, a fair, I think. Carnival. <laughs> That's not it. That makes it sound <laughs> so much more childish. <laughs> <laughs> And she's so like, yeah, wait, I guess. How old is how old is Damien at this point? I don't know. We're, we're gonna at least give him like eighteen, I don't know, he's right? Life. We're, gonna, we're gonna give him eighteen, nineteen, right? He had to be eighteen and nineteen because remember he got emancipated when he was seventeen. Yeah, exactly. And remember, you know, he had went with that girl. <laughs> the and left. Arizona. Yeah. So wait, 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 though. The thing that I know Damien lying about, he said all this happened in the three week time span. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, if if that's the truth, <laughs> then what we just looked. <laughs> <laughs> that don't make no I don't, sense. I don't know. I, that don't make no I, sense. I, don't mean, I don't know. Maybe he know better than that. We do. Anyway, so they met at the carnival. Yeah. And uh, he was like, "Hey, what's up?" And she was like, "Who are you?" Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> and nigga. She, he was like, "It's Damien from yeah. Little Seasons," and she's like, "Oh." And so it was funny because they show him. He's like, "Yeah, you just make me look this good." Yeah. <laughs> and they show her. And she's like, "Yeah, it was like Damien or whatever." <laughs> like, there was like, Two different types of people. I know so mad that they gonna start showing old high school pictures of what college would would want to be going in. Well, old he ain't going to college. He ain't no college. They start showing like old pictures of Damien and stuff like that. Yeah, when well, he's you know, like I guess, skinny. I so. guess to try to show that he was yeah, looking he had, better. Like, hair. He had like a little high top or whatever. <laughs> See, I had a couple. Of <laughs> so, so he was like, how you know they exchanged numbers or whatever. He said he didn't remember whether he asked her for his for her number, or whether she just gave it to him. Yeah, and I'm thinking like I'm pretty sure you asked but okay exactly and somehow they ended up meeting and they was like hanging out in the car he probably pressured the ass he probably was like yeah i need your number for a uh, little caesar's business or something <laughs> she like a give me a hug type of nigga let me hold a, let me have a hug please I'm like yeah come on <laughs> all right i'm sorry for interrupting i keep doing it you good so then he said they were like text or whatever good morning and all that other shit but the whole time he was seeing with a new girl, remember? Yeah, That's yeah. He was, he was like, you know, the whole time I was seeing with this girl, and I was kind of talking to, like, 23 other girls, because he stays saying he was talking to... He stays saying that's the I'm only like, relevant number he... I mean, the, oh, I'll say relevant. My bad, wrong number. He's all wrong swear. <laughs> the only number, con- consistent <laughs> number, he keeps saying from yes, 20, years ago. 23. So, I'm like, I damn, it shit. must I be that. true. That you must have been just a little hoe. On oh, my space. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Let's be real on my space. <laughs> Talking about twenty three. Come on, David. But he had, he he was struggling to pay rent. 
But back then, he was talking about, uh, you know, a few years ago, he used to say that he used to be just balling. Yeah. Like, hey, man. But remember, he also said he had two cars. He had them two cars. Then he had another car. Because he said that him and, like, whenever him and Bianca had went on their first date or when they were hanging out, it was like a different car because he had showed a picture of it. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, how are you getting all these cars? What she was doing to these girls? Were they buying you cars? God, damn, oh. man. What's the playbook? But listen, listen, listen. So with this new girl that he was saying with, remember? Mm-hmm. He was like how they wasn't together, but they was together. And yeah. He was like how he took Bianca on a date. They went to the movies. And how he was at work. And the girl texted him and was like, your stuff is outside. And he's like, what? What's going on? Why am I just my stuff outside? Why would my stuff be he's outside? like, what did I do? I don't understand. So he went to the girl's house. And then the girl had called the police. Because the police were there. Police was like, uh, are you Mr. Prince? You Mr. Prince? <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm Mr. Prince. And it was like, oh, well, old girl said that you got expired tags, expired license. And um, you don't got no insurance on your car. God damn. And he was like, oh. He was like, what? He was like, but it was true. (laughs) (laughs) He was like, and your stuff is outside. And the one was like, well, this is private property. I think you should just get your shit and go. (laughs) Basically. So he got his stuff and dipped up. He stayed with his brother or whatever. Yeah, I think he stayed with his. I don't know which brother. I'm like, what brother is this that. You was, but that's a different story. Yeah, don't bring that up. Don't bring that up. I yeah. think he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so then after that, you know, he was kicking it with Bianca. But then he said a few days later, he moved back in with old girl mm-hmm. when they had kicked him out. Then he was like, and then a few days later, she kicked him back out again mm-hmm. and threw his laptop and stuff on the ground. And he was like, he didn't even want it. He just left. And then I'm, I'm assuming he got his own crib afterwards yeah. because then he said that, um, I think Bianca was like, what well, a sophomore. In high school, because I noticed how in the video she was like, you know, I wasn't even really sweating him because I was like in school, school or whatever, yeah. and I was talking to other guys. He was like, yeah, she was in school. He was like, he all had slipped up and said high school, but he was mm-hmm. like school. Mm-hmm. And so then he was like, how I think it was her winter break, remember? Yeah. And she said she was gonna stay with her real daddy. She was like, I ain't staying with y'all this this winter break. I'm staying with my pappy. And it turns out she actually went and stayed with Damien for like two weeks. And he was like, yeah, you know, when she stayed with me for two weeks, she really, she she really showed me the real her. How yeah. old was Bianca? I don't know. When this happened, I'm sorry, this is all I've been thinking about <laughs> since this whole video. How old was Bianca when this happened? Tell me, how old were you? How old were you? Because I didn't even know. <laughs> but, they five years apart, I think. They five years apart. Right. When this uh, video started, he was 17 because he got emancipated at 17. That would make her 12. But, so we go, we, we give, he's talking about three years apart from some shit, you know, in Arizona, all that shit. I'll give, but but we're going to give. She said she was 17 when she had DJ. Hold on, we trying to get a timeline. Hold on, don't throw no other numbers in there. Hold on, so we're going to give him another year, right? Okay. Just to say, you know, he been in Arizona for a year. We know he okay. had it, man. So he 18, right? That made Bianca 13, 13, 14. Mm-hmm. I mean, wait, how old can you get a job at Little Caesars? Nigga, I don't know. You... I didn't work at Little Caesars. I Damn was at McDonald's when I was like 17. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Um, um, how did this little girl fuck her damn number and shit? Wanted to show her how to do the damn pizza He said and he stuff. knew what he wanted when he saw her. And remember that? How old was she? How old were you? Um, let me see. If you was like, if you like, R. Kelly vibes. If she was, 16, <laughs> if she was like 15, he was 20. If she was 16, he was 21. 21, 20. <laughs> 21, 20. So, um, what I'm trying to say is, like, she even told a story about something. I know we might be skipping shit about uh, her riding wait, the bike. Yeah, no, we ain't there yet. I'm just We're saying, I'm there. I'm just saying, I'm fucking goddamn. We, we almost, almost there. there. But, I'm just saying, but they say they five years apart. We're uh, almost there. Pause. Is Bianca just 22 Pause. now? Pause. Break it. Okay? Pause. She stayed at his house for two weeks. Remember? Yeah. He said that he learned so much from about her, and they spent so much time together, so much quality time. All they did was fuck. Right? Yes, because I'm thinking at that age, that's probably all y'all was doing. And I, I'm like, what y'all had to talk about? Yes, please. Really? Like, like pieces? Little Caesars? <laughs> <laughs> no like shade, but like shade. God, <laughs> this this, this got to be hot and ready. It got to be hot and ready. 
I tell you. But then, okay, so then remember she said she was at her grandma's house, right? Mm -hmm. And how she called her mama. She's like, I feel sick. I'm throwing up. I feel nauseous. Ugh, Dizzy, I don't know what's wrong blur, with me. Vision. And her mom was like, are you pregnant? You better not be pregnant. She's like, no, I'm not pregnant. So she said they hopped on their bicycles and rode the CVS <laughs> or Walgreens or whatever. Girl, that's what she said. Hopped on the bike. They even showed a clip of somebody riding on a bicycle right there. And she went and she went and got the pregnancy test and it showed that she was pregnant. She was like how she started crying. Babies having babies. God yeah, grandma. Yeah. I mean, I ain't against it. I ain't against that. that it's just a funny ass story. I don't know why y'all brought this up in the documentary. I, I mean, I, I guess mean, you know, I mean y'all successful though. I ain't gonna lie, y'all yeah. successful. But was that the end of the story? I think it was more and all like no, it's yeah. more to the story. Oh, yeah, so she said that she found so out she was still she was, on the bicycle. No, nigga, she rode back home and she took the test. Found out, are you okay? I had to put, put the kickstand on, right? Make sure it's set up for real, though. And she found out she was pregnant. She started crying. She said the first person she called was Damien. And Damien was like, Oh, you're pregnant? I'm so excited. I always wanted you to have my first kid. Woohoo! How old was Bianca? She, uh, she, 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 she didn't even have. Anyway, so after that, <laughs> like somebody dead. she called. She, she called him after that. She sent a text message <laughs> to, to her mama. To her mom, and her mama hit that. Now, she, she said. I understand something. why she sent the text message. I'm I understand. Scared. Yeah, I'm scared I too. was scared she too. Young. And it's funny because she said something, <clears throat> and it's so true. One of the most hurtful things that your parents could ever say to you is, "I am disappointed in you." And she said that's what her mom sent to her. Fuck that. As long as I ain't get that ass whipping on nah, straight. <laughs> you be disappointed all you want to through text messages. It's cool. Don't, it was don't something that had happened one time. When, and this is like, it was very rare. Oh. And I have remember I told my dad and he said he was disappointing me. And that shit struck a nerve. I was like, oh, God. Disappointed in me? <laughs> like, like, Wait, was, was like, you in the wrong at this point? I don't think he was, was you in the wrong about that, though. I don't remember. So I don't remember. I just remember him telling me that he was disappointed in me, and it really like like it had like hurt my feelings a lot. Mm -hmm. You don't want your parents to be disappointed in you. And then her mom was told her that like she had to tell her dad, and she's like, I can't tell my dad. I can't tell him. So then she said that um, Damien had went with her to go tell her dad that that she was pregnant, mm -hmm. and she was like, oh, I gotta tell you something. And Damien was like, She's pregnant. <laughs> Cause she was scared. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the pappy. Right. <laughs> That's funny though. Hey, hey, he said he was a real nigga. Like, hey, yeah. Like, he seen that she was scared. Uh, you know, she nervous. She fifteen. Uh, you know, going she on seventeen. She said she was seventeen. Yeah, damn. Okay. He, you know, he twenty two, twenty three. And uh, you know how everything might be looking. They yeah. Might... Now that's one how thing. How long I was can... they hunting for? I don't know. One thing I can respect him for is the fact that he told her father that. He got her pregnant. Cause hopefully a lot of, that's true. Hopefully it is. I kind of feel like it is. I mean, because I can't see a lot of men doing shit like that. A lot of mm -hmm. men would just be like, well, you got to go ahead and tell your parents. Uh -huh. I'll be waiting outside for you in the car. Yeah, they, <laughs> like, if, if, even if, I mean, if, if they're even there. there yeah. yeah, yeah. So then after that, she was like, you know, they ended up having DJ. She said that DJ was like premature. Mm -hmm. And um, how they didn't get to take him home at first and stuff like that. And then... When they got to take him home, Damien was like, oh, he wanted his son with him, and Bianca wanted DJ with her, so mm -hmm. she ended up moving in with him, remember? She was like, how, I think Damien was like, at first everything was good, you know, he was working at Little Caesars, he was gambling and making money, and they was bringing in like seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000 a month, everything was sweet. Then, Little Caesars was like, oh, shit, y'all got a kid together? Yeah. You uh, fired. <laughs> Nigga, you fired. So then he fired, they fired Damien. Mm -hmm. And then he kind of got like a gambling problem and lost all that money. So Bianca was like, one day he just came and was like, we need to leave. And she's like, what you mean we need to leave? He's like, we need to pack off our shit and go. So basically, because yeah. he said that, you know, well, I'm going to tell you all this. I work with property management. So like for apartments, whenever, if somebody doesn't pay their rent on time and it's continuously, nine times out of ten, you're not going to get renewed for the apartment. Um, it's up to like the property management to decide that, but obviously in their case, they decided not to renew them. He was like how he paid his rent, but it was always late. And people like, you know, you notice that and you take into account that. So they didn't renew his lease. So they told him that he had to move. And obviously he waited to the last minute to tell her because normally they'll let you know like 60 days in advance. But that's another story for a different day. Jesus. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah. 
So he, they packed all their stuff. He, she said they packed all their stuff and just sat in the U-Haul. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn. Like, you know, y'all, That's young. Sad, yeah, that, that was really sad. I was like, y'all young. Like, y'all got a baby. I just got y'all shit in the U-Haul. And she was like how they stayed at like a motel for like two weeks because he said he only had like a thousand dollars and he was like how the a week it was for four hundred dollars so they stayed there two weeks and then with the third week he was like how you know he didn't have enough money for it but i think bianca had got another job and um i think working like a nursing home right right and this is wow let's see this is where it didn't add up in the video but i don't know she was like how um they got another place to stay. Mm-hmm. And then what happened next? I feel like he was making money from um he was making mo- money from his gaming channel or something. Yeah. And then he started saying about the couple stuff. So he was trying to convince her about doing the couple stuff. But thing. no, with the gaming channel thing, YouTube has sent him a letter saying that he wasn't gonna be able to get the money and they were gonna sue him. Mm. Yeah, because he you thought he was gonna get like a he point. thought he was gonna get like a check for it, mm. and then it was like, nah, nigga, you ain't supposed. To, it was like NBA Live or something like that, okay. streaming it. Oh yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. you ain't supposed to be doing that. So then, um, I think he started fussing at her about the couple channel thing. He was mm. like, you know, the couples are reacting. We need to do this, and she's like, I don't want to do it. And he's like, we need to make this money, <laughs> 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 like, so then he was like, how um, they started filming reaction videos. Saw the profit, saw it doubling. So then he's like, "All right, we gonna film fifteen videos a day." And then he was like, "The first check, their first check was eighteen thousand, and the second check was a hundred thousand." I was like, "God damn!" God damn, but <laughs> YouTube damn so changed now. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> like so, for real though, yeah. I wonder like how much they pay you per, uh, you know, per view and shit like. I that. wonder too, cause obviously, mm-hmm. like you know, it's changed over the years. Mm-hmm. Um. And then they started talking about, like, the music, right? And Damien was like how he used to be a rapper back in the day. Yeah, look, look, and he was like how, you know. Everybody used to be a rapper, though. <laughs> right. You know, I spit some rhymes when, like, me and my sister, we, we battled. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but, but, um. Say, so you look like you was hot garbage. <laughs> I was straight trash, bro. <laughs> straight no, trash. But, um, yeah, they started talking about their music video and whatever. And I remember Bianca's verse was ten times better than Damien. Oh, so yeah. So, I was like, damn. And I feel like that's kind of how they ended the video. Isn't yeah, it? I'm, I was, I'm thinking it's going to be a part two. I think it was, uh. Yeah, that was just part one. Yeah. Um, it's like the the thing is like the only reason it's interesting to me, mm-hmm. not it, not really the uh the success thing. It's mainly like I'm trying to decide decipher if he's uh telling the truth or not, or, like if they both are telling the truth. We know the timelines off and all that different shit like yeah. that. Yeah, but like <clears throat> them niggas lying. <laughs> I feel like the the timeline is off with certain things and certain things i feel like he either embellished or left out yeah um i do feel like the part where they struggled together is real and then the part where they like were able to um really create on youtube is real yeah so with both of those aspects i can i can respect them a lot for it Mm -hmm. because like like i said at the beginning of the video you know they really pushing out some shit like this month and you know a lot of people can like hate on them and stuff like that and i know we did videos in regards to them and some of the mm-hmm. shit they put out but i can't not respect them because of how far they've come and how much money they've been able to make from youtube man fuck that <clears throat> man, them kids we ain't gonna we ain't gonna act like we ain't gonna act like it's just because they just successful man it's no damn kids yeah i ain't no hater because i mean saying? but you gotta look at it they were able to cater to that type of audience as well and the kids, and they the kids hustle like a motherfucker yeah guy. and yeah like that's one thing like you know they really like hustle like i ain't gonna front mm-hmm. they put in the work and then they receive the benefits from it and kids are gullible yeah and they're gonna you know kids are oh couples goals da, da, da. for so, real though for it real. is what it like, is. They they thought Nate and Michaela was a uh, right, and I mean, <laughs> you know, we can't front in that. Like I remember, we used to watch their videos. Yeah. So it's like you know, I remember I used to like, oh, they're so funny. Da, da, da. Until you can like and literally yeah, until tell, like, like, you're like what? <laughs> like, like you know, then I'm like, oh hell no, nah. like no. But you can tell they just didn't even care no more. They just exactly. Started just getting it, getting it. Because they used to be like really funny. Like I really mm. used to enjoy watching their stuff. Um, but obviously times have changed and, um, I'm curious what else they're going to put in the part two, like how, cause they kind of just went from talking about doing reaction videos real quick 
to talk about doing their music. Stuff. Yeah, and they said that she was pregnant already with uh, Kyrie. And so and I was like, like, hold on, this ain't the same time. It see, it's like we can't. I'm like y'all, y'all got videos to show the time frame. I'm like, maybe I, maybe I just wasn't keeping up. I know the yeah. kids. Y'all probably know better than us. Y'all know y'all got the timeline on lock for real. So but damn, all of the DMB Nation and Prince family fans, y'all can write the timeline in the comment section. That way we know. Um, I said, Theo, is there anything you really want to add? No, I said everything, man. Um, I, I don't, I, 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 I <clears throat> when, it's, it's not my business, but y'all put it out there. Was you on this R. Kelly shit? I know you was on the R. Kelly type shit. Oh, yeah. Like, God damn, you that. playing that flute and that piccolo and all that shit. You know what? Like, okay. Now, with their age difference, <laughs> it's totally different. <laughs> now, because I know I said R. Kelly earlier in the thing. Now, I, I, with their age difference and R. Kelly's age difference with these girls. Yeah, that's way... Way different. And <laughs> R. Kelly was on a whole other level. So, I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna do Damien like that. But still, you shouldn't have been looking at like a 14 or 15 year old girl the yeah. way he was looking at it. Talking about, you know, I knew what I wanted. Like, like, like he's a, from the from the jump. Yeah. And she, she was light-skinned, beautiful, all that. Ooh, like, yeah, pretty like, like, like <laughs> out of all those 23 girls you was talking to you could find nobody that was above age god damn <laughs> what shit at least he found the right one man shit he won't have Carmen see you guys later peace Bye.